Fifth race, Pacers are on the track and pretty to the post. These are fillets and mares, five-year-olds and under, racing one mile, purse $2,400. The one-horse, Clubbered Hag, owned by Augie Blevins of Springfield, Alan Regal, trains Jeff Outdrives. The two, Berkshire Chip, owned and trained by Harold Warren of Sunbury for Jim Daly. Number three, Lucy and Ethel, owned by David Franklin of Lexington, Kentucky. Tommy Smith trains for Mike Wilder. Number four, Osamio. Leonard Buckner as the owner. Ken Hoffer trains for Don Irvine Jr. Number five, Nippy Hanover. Iris Harwitz, the owner. Tim Rucker trains for Demi Rucker. Number six, Hosanna Hanover. Owned by Vic and Arlene Baker of Columbus. Jim Arles Jr. trains for Dave Miller. Seven, Romy Ann. Owned by Fred Bates of Montpurry and Dave Rankin of Thornville. Dave Rankin trains and drives. The eight, Lovering. Over the ACA stable of Wilmington, Jeff Daly, the trainer driver. Number nine, Katie Smith, owned by the Hall Investment Company of Logan. Dick Brandt, the trainer with David Myers. And number ten, Carbohydrate, owned by Ann Hiltebrand of Urbana. Ann Hiltebrand trains Brad Hanners in the Sonky. Win point. Fifth race, Phillies and Mares, on and behind the gate. They're on the back stretch and approaching the start. Handed, they're off, and uh, Nippy Hanover firing hard here from the set of the track, and Nippy Hanover at 8-1, to one, quickly taking charge. Romy Ann from the outside comes away second. Towards the inside, it's Lucy and uh, Ethel to the outside and racing a fourth as they move to that first turn. Katie Smith now with good racing position here. Lovering angles in fifth. On the rail in sixth, it's Brickshire Chip. Clabbered Hag gets away seventh. Inside eight to Carbohydrate, two lengths, ninth O Samio, and the uh, trailer tenth is Hosanna Hanover. Opening quarter in 28 and 1. Phillies and Mares in straight alignment here, and it's Romy Ann calling the shots now. She's at 10 to 1. She leads by two. Nippy Hanover to the inside is second. Lucy and at the lap, the wheel is third. And here comes Lovering now moving first up at the outside. Katie Smith is at the rail. Clambered Hag with live cover, but that cover going nowhere. Berkshire Tip is buried on the inside. Carbohydrate joins the outer flow. And right behind her is Osamio. And now Hosanna Hanover moves up the rail briskly here. They're at the half in 58 and 4 with Romy Ann. Still the leader by two. Nippy Hanover is a patient second. Lucy and Ethel on the inside is third. Lovering on the outside is fourth. And now Clambered Hag can't wait any longer. She comes to the outside and she goes off stride. Inside and racing uh, fifth as they move down the back stretch. It's Katie Smith, nearing the three-quarter mile marker, and it's Romy Ann, a length and a quarter. Nippy Hanover comes to the outside and takes a stab at the lead. Three quarters, 127 and one. Around the final turn, and Romy Ann looking for the upset here. Nippy Hanover is right there, and at the rail, it's Lucy and Ethel. Lovering is still there. She's racing fourth with less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come, and it's Romy Ann with the lead. Here comes Nippy Hanover, and Nippy Hanover showing some late pace. She's coming strong. She'll take the lead, and Nippy Hanover gets up to win it by a half a length. Romy Ann second, and Lucy and Ethel third in one, 56 and two. Trackside, the unofficial winner, number five, Nippy Hanover. Three-year-old daughter of Kentucky Spur from the Albatross Mare, Nicole Hanover. Old by Iris Harwitz of Brooklyn, New York. Tim Rucker trains Debbie Rucker in the Sonky. Her second win of the season, in fact, her second career win, that is a mark for her, 156 and a two-fifth. Fifth race is now official, 5-7 perfect to $131.80. The twin tried tonight, 5-7 all, $66.80. And a 30 cents. Let's go to Northfield now where the uh, sixth race is already underway.